Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, where I go. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my updated makeup routine. So over the time, the way I apply my makeup has evolved and definitely gotten simpler. So I decided to share a quick routine with you guys. I really hope that you would enjoy watching this video and you learn a thing or two also if you are new here thank you so much for watching thank you for being here it means the world to me please remember to click the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i upload it and if you are already a family member thank you so much for coming back thank you for your support and for watching and for liking and sharing and all that you do basically i really 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 appreciate it thank you I'm starting by cleaning my face with my Bust B makeup removing pad. This is such a great product to have in your makeup kit. It does the job so well. It cleanses your face really, really well. Next, I'm going in with my Embryolis moisturizer and I'm moisturizing my face to apply on all parts of my face and I used my hand to gently massage it into my skin. Up next, I'm going in with my Renew Stay Matte Primer. If you watch this channel a lot, you know that I don't drink with this face primer. It does the job 100% and it does a good job of blocking oil and reducing sweat. So now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the Laurel Infallible Foundation. Okay, quick backstory to this foundation. I've had it in my, my makeup kit forever. Like, I've had it for a very long time and I barely use it. The most I do with it is mix it to, you know, balance out a shade. And I just thought to use it alone this time. So it, it worked really great. Like the essence of this story is that it's, it's actually a great product. So it, initially it looked like it was too bright for me. So I almost cringed, but it came out really nice at the end the finished product i honestly did not want to clean my face at the end of the day like it came out really beautifully so please it's it's a product i recommend and it works so well so you guys can you know try it out and let me know let me know if you tried it out and yeah and if you're wondering where you can get it of course you can check the precious good beauty store on instagram and order yours Next thing I'm going in with my concealer and I'm using the Elegia Pro Concealer to highlight my face. Now I'm using my beauty blender to gently blend that out. As you can see, I didn't put so much products because yeah, that's the new way I do my makeup. I, I do not use too much product anymore and yeah, a little goes a very, very long way. So when you're working with your concealer now, just apply less is more basically. Next, I am 
generously applying powder all over my face yes even on top of the concealed parts i am i'm just applying powder generally all over my face this is to set my face my whole face to set all the cream products that i have applied so yeah that's why i'm adding the powder Going into my brows, I'm um, using my Davis pencil and as you can see, I'm gently drawing a stroke underneath my brow area and then instead of starting from the inner corner for the top part, I started from the arch so that I would be able to define it well and also so that I'll be able to draw gentle strokes to fill in the inner corner so I, I, I don't want a very thick brow so that's why I'm, I'm taking it like this next I'm using my mascara wand to blend the effect of the pencil wax next I'm going in with my concealer the same concealer that I used on my face earlier the same shade I'm using that to highlight my brow bone as you can see I'm trying to be gentle with it I'm taking my time and not rushing at all so the next thing now is I'm dragging down the remaining concealer into my eyelid and I'm going in with a blending brush to blend that in so uh, I'm basically just blending in the concealer under my into my eyelid I'm, I'm blending the concealer into my eyelid so now I'm using the same foundation I used for my face to gently clean the upper part of my eyebrows I'm also starting from the arch area again and I'm um, gently tracing what has already been drawn and this is just to define my brow more and to make it look you know neater Now I'm basically going in with the same blending brush and then blending that out. So for my eyeshadow, I started with a dark color at the outer corner. Then I went in with a transition color, a nude color in my crease to blend that out and then I, I dip my hand into a gold color shadow and then I'm basically just tapping it into my eyelid. As you can see I didn't use um, a eyeshadow primer for this, all I had was my concealer that was already on my eye, eyelid. So, yeah and it did the job well so i realized that once you applied your concealer well it's 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 enough basically it's enough especially when you don't want too much on your eyelid and then i finished that by blending it off all right so now i'm using my kiss beauty black pencil to draw my eyeliner as you can see this is supposed to be a waterline pencil but then i'm able to use it as a liner and you can also see that it's doing the water job work the waterline job well next i'm going in with my sacha buttercup setting powder and i'm setting my face so um i'm just doing this process to bake it a little so that my yeah i get a powdery effect after my makeup is done that is why i'm doing this at this time and I'm basically setting all the parts that I highlighted earlier. Next, I'm going in with my Ferrarucci mascara and I'm using it to brush out my lashes. As you can see, my lashes are barely showing, so I'm definitely popping in some 
falsies and now I'm just applying my falsies or my false lashes to define my eye more uh, I'm using my hand because that's what I'm comfortable using and I take my time with us while doing this next I'll be dusting off my baked face basically dusting off the um, setting powder I had under my face and yeah just powdering my face alongside that the next thing I'm doing now is adding my Ferrarucci bronzer or highlighter to my face so to get that natural glow that's that glow that comes up when the sun eats your face so um, I always try to use as little as possible because less is more and now I'll be applying my lipstick I'm using my Zaron lipstick okay so I didn't use a pencil liner because whenever I'm using a lipstick lipstick it, because it has a pointed mouth it's easier for me to trace my lip line with the lipstick so i just go ahead and trace and then apply my lipstick generously all over my lip and finally i'll be applying my setting spray and then that's it for this look I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a new thing this is my updated routine and it's pretty simple and easy to achieve thank you for watching love you bye please subscribe